What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father. At Amazon, Kindle and Create Space. A link will be in the description box below as usual. Um, this video is entitled The Expectation of Benevolence. Sometimes, you know, people take kindness for weakness, right? But benevolence is, is the expectation, basically, of somebody doing good. You know, you, you know this person is, is a good person. They, they have good intent and, and, have, and are known for doing good deeds, and you expect good deeds out of these people. But there are people... Who expect that you will be benevolent, even if they are evil, or they have bad intentions, you know, which is a problem, because in plenty of situations in life, you have you 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 notice that some people they they. They bet on the fact that you'll be benevolent to them no matter what they, no matter what act that they commit. Because you're just a good person in their eyes. And that says something about them as a human being when you know you're going to screw somebody over, but you expect this other person to, 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 keep it peaceful. And lend out an olive branch or, or to take the high road Or to just take it on the chin and walk away And you know I still like when Prime said it You know I tried to take the high road But I just don't know the address And sometimes Expecting benevolence Can put you in a position where it's gonna, you're gonna be in um, in the crossfire. You're gonna put your head on the chopping block for mo for numerous reasons. One is when you formulate a plan and your plan is dastardly, and part of your plan is to say. Built into the plan, you're banking on somebody to be benevolent so you can get away with your BS. That person doesn't have to be benevolent when you are a villain, when you're a crook, when you're a scam artist. You know, they're not being benevolent for, for you. They're being benevolent for them. That's who they are. But just because they're a good person doesn't mean... That they can't haul off and humble you by any means necessary. Because with your plan, you drug them into your um, situation. They didn't drag themselves into it. You planned for them to be in something that they didn't want any parts of or had no idea that they were going to be in. That, that That's a... Um, that was a choice that you made that you took away their choice. It was a choice that you made to take away their choice. And hope that they'll be cool with it. No good. You know. And you notice it. You know certain people can pick fights with people on purpose. Knowing that this is the type of person that might just walk away or keep it peaceful. Or, or, or not make a scene. And not not um, or, or not embarrass their company or the situation or look out for the greater good of what's at stake beyond you and them at that particular moment. And sometimes people don't understand that. Sometimes people go, "Oh, this person's a coward. They're this or they're that." 
And other people are like, who, when they catch you by yourself after this is over with, I don't feel sorry for what they do to you. You deserve it. You know, but nuance is a part of intelligence and experience that some people get and some people don't. Um, but when you expect that out of a person, you expect them too much. And, you know, in our society, since it's Christian, it's funny because it, 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 it harkens back to the biblical story of Jesus, right? Because of the expectation of benevolence, people had no problem, quote unquote, killing him, right? But the problem with that is, though Jesus would be deemed as, as a benevolent figure, it says upon his return, <laughs> he gonna have a sword in his hand. He ain't playing no games because he see what we about, right? So, to expect, he, he saw what we did to him when, when he was just benevolent and nice. So, when he returns, taking heads, ain't trying to hear it. No, nah, you can't, no, nah, ain't, ain't, ain't no, there ain't no passes to be given, you know. And people seem to try to ignore that, but that's a, that's a, Reality, it's a viable reality. You know, you see this in chivalry, where I expect you to be the man, and you expect you to do all the man stuff. And you see men questioning women nowadays, like, "Well, you expect my chivalry, expect me to be benevolent, and you expect to not have to return the favor at all, and I'm just supposed to take it on the chin because that's what men do." And you see men are starting to like, no, nah, we're not doing that. You on your own. You know, same thing over and over again. You see family courts and divorces, the expectations that these men are be benevolent and just take these losses. And now it's not like that. Like, it's not like that because guys are not even trying to get involved in the process. And even when they do, they're not really feeling how things are going down and they're acting different than they used to in the past. And, you know, uh, racially in this country, you're seeing more and more people um, not taking the high road. Like, no, no, this is what you wanted to do? This is where we're going? Well, the gloves is coming off. And you see, uh, you see certain groups of people who are used to being able to play dirty uh, uninterrupted and, and hide under and hide behind, but you're supposed to be benevolent. You're seeing that coming to an end rapidly. Like that's just breaking down left and right. Same thing with, um, I guess you could say the, 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 the countries and war of genders and everything like it's like no nah, no nah, everybody's everybody's willing to take the gloves off now and even in the opposite of that the expectation that some people the the, the not necessarily the expectation but the belief in the propaganda that some people are more benevolent than others is crumbling also and I think that's just pretty much done. And the facade that you can look, you can take on the look of benevolence and the look of goodness and the look of goodwill, and, and you are a proxy to what is benevolent and godly, is, is rapidly crashing and burning. So to me, it's like, you know, these expectations... Are, are, are just expectations because now I think we're living we're, we're moving into an age where you have to live in the reality of benevolence and and kill the expectation of benevolence 
So now we're living in what is and not what we want it to be. And I think mentally that's messing with the with, with society, with culture, with with ideals, with um uh fantasies you know and the reality is shaking people to their core because the reality is so different than than um than the fantasy you know and and, and the close is just i say it simply like this we're at a, a point where the bully expects the person that they're bullying to be benevolent and walk away and now the person that they're bullying decided to take out a bat and, and hit the bully in his kneecaps. And the bully is crying, but nobody cares, you know. So that's my thoughts on that. We out.